Uh, all right, so I know we'll get to more of your chats and phone calls, folks. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into your alumni hall question of the day, dealing with a little basketball talk here. And again, shop at alumni hall. You can go visit their website, alumnihall.com slash Arkansas Razorback. See all the great apparel mm -hmm. that they have. See them in store, 3417 North College Avenue. A lot of you going to be making the trip to the Ole Miss football game this weekend. Stop by there. And uh, as a reminder, the Friday before the Texas game, we're going to be doing Inside Arkansas Live from Alumni Hall as well. So really looking forward to that. But uh, just, just a random question for, for people to ask, because I was looking at the Razorback basketball schedule. And if you were told by the basketball gods, hey, you get three guaranteed wins this season. Can't guarantee anything else, but you get three guaranteed wins this season. Who do you want those three wins to come against? Uh, I have a feeling that I know exactly the majority of uh, who is a, an easy answer, but uh, what do you guys think as far as uh, just the three ones that you'd like to see Arkansas win this season? Uh, Baylor, Bama, Kentucky. I think it's where I'm Sign Signature non-conference win, uh, beat potential number one, have that moment at home, and then go beat up on Kentucky on the road. That's where I'm at. The, so okay, Kentucky's an obvious one. You got. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just. A, I mean, I'm not saying mm -hmm. it's a must win, but it's like everyone it's could pick one would probably pick that game. Of course, I. I mean, Bama mm -hmm. at home. I feel like is probably next up on that list of like ones where if you could pick any, that's one. Uh, I'm tempted to say Auburn, um, on the road. It's on the road, yeah. It's on the road, and like that would just be one like a resume builder. Like that would be a huge like if Arkansas is going to be a you know two, three, four, five C whatever that is going to help them. I'm tempted to go Illinois, though, simply because everybody watches college basketball over Thanksgiving break. Like, literally, it just me as a casual basketball observer, <laughs> I watch so many college basketball games over Thanksgiving break, and so I feel like if Arkansas like played awesome in that Illinois game, it would be a cool little moment where everyone, I don't know how good Illinois is about to be, uh, which, you know, so that, that maybe changes a little bit. <clears throat> um, but if I, so I'm, I'm teetering between Auburn, that Illinois game and Tennessee, because I'd really like to see Arkansas start off one and zero in SEC play. Because if you if you can guarantee me that, I'll feel pretty good. Yeah, that's the one I was going to go with is Kentucky. I mean, that's the obvious one. I mean, everyone wants that one, so th that's going to happen. Uh, and I think Bama also is about as close to the obvious one as well. Because odds are, uh, unless just really things go badly for them, they're going to be a top five, top ten team at that point. And it's a Saturday. It's like we can go ahead and say that that's the biggest game of the year in Bud Walton Arena, not even close. Like there's no other real game that's coming close to that. But honestly, I think I'm going to go with the Tennessee game to start conference play because one, not saying that, you know, you'd win the next three or four games, but I just want to see a nice start to SEC play for a change. You just, 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 just nice, like start off three and one. You know, wouldn't that be nice just to have that instead of feeling like you're behind the eight ball as soon as conference play starts? Like if you beat Tennessee, mm -hmm. say if even you lose to Ole Miss at home. Actually, no, we won't lose to them at home. You'll, you'll beat Ole Miss. You'll beat Florida. You'll beat LSU. You'll beat Missouri on the road. See, this is what happens. And then you're going to beat Georgia. And then you're going to beat Oklahoma. <laughs> you're going to be 7-0 and going into the Kentucky <laughs> game. But I'm not saying that will for sure happen. However, if you do beat Tennessee, though, on the road especially, it, I'd be hard-pressed to start picking Arkansas to lose any more games up until that Kentucky game. Y'all remember when Arkansas beat Auburn to start SEC play uh, at Auburn? And this was the the year of the must's second year, I guess, where they went to yep. the Elite Eight. Uh, and that was like a moment Smoked where you know, they had a little bit of a down thing <laughs> after that when Justin Smith got banged up. But I remember that night just being like a night where we all felt so good and we were like, felt, you know, we felt uh, vindicated for feeling good about this Arkansas team going in. And so I think that Tennessee game, now that's in Tennessee's better than Auburn was that year. I think that would be the equivalent of that. So, uh, I'm with you. I'll follow you on Tennessee. That's my third my third pick. But I will say, Michigan, I kind of need Arkansas to win because I've talked crazy about uh, old Coach May. Yeah. It's 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 um it's interesting that nobody else is on the Baylor train with me, you know. It's the the premier matchup of the non-conference yeah. top 10 first weekend of the year. Uh but that's kind of where I'm at. The same wavelength as wanting to get off to a good start in SEC play. Agreed. I want that for the season. You know, like if who cares about these exhibitions or whatever? But then if you start the regular season, you win your opener, and then you go beat Baylor, you know, on a neutral site, one of the biggest games of the first week, you want to talk about the hype train, and it won't go anywhere for a while at that point. Um, yep. But I could see I could see Tennessee in there, too. That's, That's a good point, though, the Baylor one. Because, I mean, mm -hmm. again, if Arkansas starts off 0-1, yeah. it's just going to be it's just gonna be a thing where people are like, eh. Yeah. It'll be an easy spot for people to dunk on Arkansas. Right. Well, a few people on uh, Twitter say uh, I was kind of surprised because a lot of them said Texas, like they Which even one? though they play them twice, yeah, it's you know home or road. I guess it doesn't matter. But 
wanting to wanting to beat Texas. Uh, John Smith says uh, he wants to have Kentucky, Michigan, Illinois. Those are the three he wants. And I thought this was interesting. Jackson says Kentucky, of course, and Tennessee on the road. Yeah, but he says Miami was the one that he uh, he wants to win out of those three. So. True road wins in uh, in non conference play carry weight if you're thinking about resume. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. maybe that, but I don't know that they're going to be ranked or anything. And it's that's what's weird about it is Illinois. I think is pretty damn good. Like they're super talented, but I don't think they were ranked. Maybe they were like at the bottom of the top 25. I'm not sure about that. Then the same thing with Michigan where they've got a lot of talent um, and a new coach and everything. And that's at Madison square garden, but I don't think they're ranked either. Um, and maybe they will be by the time you play them, but it's, it's kind of uh it's kind of interesting that you've got these four kind of big time premier non-conference games and only one of them is against another top, you know, 15, top 10 ish type team. And the other ones are just really, really cool places to play. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's <clears throat> for sure.